So today I'm going to tell you a story about what happened at work one day. I think that it's the most ordinary days that we take for granted and we don't see any miracles in because while well, we're doing just our everyday things. So for me at work sometimes it's hard to see miracles because well I'm there a lot and it's just my everyday, not everyday, but it's a very ordinary thing to be doing. So um, one of my friends at work um, was telling me about the struggle that she was going through and uh, she knew that God was telling her to do something and she was really struggling with that so I told her to go ahead and be obedient and do what God was telling her to do. A couple days after I told my friend to listen to God she came to work and she was telling everyone that she was obedient and it felt she felt like a weight was lifted off of her shoulders. So her excitement and her obedience was contagious. Everyone at work started to get excited with her. Um, even people who don't believe in Jesus that work at Chick-fil-A with me were getting excited about it. And it was so amazing to watch because it's like I've never seen our workplace talking so much about Jesus. And it was all because she was excited about her obedience and the weight that was lifted off of her shoulders because of Jesus. So that just kind of reminded me of a passage in Matthew, Matthew chapter 5. Um, I've got this mark. So Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it in, on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. I couldn't help but think about that because she was so excited about what God had done, what Jesus had done, and it was shining before everyone. So the unbelievers and believers alike were getting excited about the weight that was lifted off of her shoulders. They were seeing God's good deeds because of her excitement. So I just thought that that was so neat that her obedience was so powerful to everyone in the workplace, even the people who don't believe in Jesus. So another thing that I've learned from this is um, talk to your friends who don't really know Jesus. Maybe they do know Jesus, but they're not really, they know about Jesus, but they don't know Jesus. Maybe your friends don't care about Jesus. Maybe some of your friends don't believe in him at all. What I've learned from this is just talk to everyone that you encounter as if they believe the same way you do, as if they believe in Jesus, as if they believe that he died on the cross and rose again three days later. Talk to them as if they believed that he was a perfect man. So if you talk to everyone that way, you know, it could spark something in them. I mean, I don't know how many times I have assumed that someone was a Christian, maybe talked to them in a certain way, assuming that they believe in Jesus, but then later on find out that they don't believe in Jesus. If you talk to them in a normal way and tell them what God has done for you, it just makes it more normal and they'll, they'll think, Hey, I wonder, I wonder if God would do the same thing for me. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. So it just kind of gets them wondering. Instead of it being direct and sudden, just kind of like talk about it casually. And I think that that reaches them the best. So just talk about God as if they believe the same thing and that'll get them wondering and they'll be like, wow, he, he really is, he sounds really awesome. And he sounds more real when you just talk about him casually. So that was a very awesome thing that I witnessed in the workplace. Um, just because it was so ordinary, the workplace is so ordinary, but some days are extraordinary. You gotta be looking for those kinds of situations, those kind of those kinds of conversations, those kinds of that kind of excitement. Don't take it for granted. Soak it up because that is God working in the workplace. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.